Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Bookstack, a documentation and wiki platform, in Docker. To get started, connect to the device where we're going to install Docker. We'll begin by installing a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and app repository. Now using apt install, we'll install docker, docker compose, and container d. With the docker packages installed, we'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled, add the current user to the docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start running containers. We'll start by outputting the ID for the current user. Take note of the output, as we'll need the UID and GID for later. Then using the make dir command, we'll create working directories for our containers. We'll set the owner of the working directory structure. Then using the docker run command, we'll create a MariaDB database container. Followed by a separate docker run command to create the bookstack container. Note, you may need to update the PUID and PGID values if yours were different when you ran ID earlier. You also need to update the app URL value to the DNS or IP address of the host. With both containers running, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host, colon 6875. Log in with the email address admin at admin.com and the password password. Click the user dropdown at the top right of the screen. Then select My Account. Update the username and email address as needed, then click Save. Click the Access and Security option in the left navigation menu. Then enter and confirm a new password and click Update. Click the User drop-down at the top right of the screen, then select Log Out. Log back in using the updated email address and password. Welcome to Bookstack, running containerized in Docker.